<gasps> no! Asahi, you fucker. I mean, I know... Look, I did a lot of the fight against her just now. A lot of the stabbings and... But she was defeated. Let's just fuck this guy, Jesus. Let me kill him. I'm gonna kill him right now. You really must learn to finish the job. Tis true that a gaudy mirror and a handful of crystals make for a feeble summoning. But even the weakest icon is a god of souls. A threat that must be put down. My, my! Such hostility! These beings are the sworn enemies of the Empire. I merely did my duty as an Imperial officer. Will you surrender to anger then? Slay an anointed emissary to avenge a fallen foe? Hell yeah! <laughs> you cannot, of course! To do so would burn the bridges we have labored so hard to build. But I'm forgetting, they're already ash. This Dorman woman has seen to that. The Empire cannot ally Are you itself stupid? with any nation that refuses to renounce summoning. I believe I was most clear on that point. You wouldn't kill me for this one thing. <laughs> Oops, I undid that one thing. The one reason preventing you from killing me. I didn't even tell you about it. It should have been mine. The power he bestowed upon her. I should have been the one to govern Dorma. I would have this, repaid his faith. His, his fucking childhood jealousy. The, his baby no tantrum. No one alive loves him more than I. Oh yeah, because he's a disciple of Xenos. Instead, this. Harlot betrayed his trust. Useless piece of filth. Worthless whore. <sighs> Thank you, dear brother, for this precious gift. Vengeance. These people, our people, they ignore the corruption which festers beneath the surface. Cast aside that which is dirty and broken. Speak not of things which would disrupt their dreary little lives. Like you, Asahi. Always pretending not to see. You were the first. The first I swore to kill. You should feel honored, dear brother. I saved the last of my strength. Just... 
for you. What's the matter? The Witch of Dorma will soon be dead. Ah! <laughs> we could have been friends in another life. was never to be. Not in this world. <sighs> I wonder, was the fruit as sweet as he remembered? Life is over. Lord Zeno. Fuck you. <laughs> Lord Zeno's. Your disposal. Asai, you were born of Doma. Yes. Yes, my lord. I am honored that you would remember me. How may I serve? You are hereby appointed ambassador plenipotentiary and empowered to speak with the voice of the emperor. Return to your native land of Doma and announce your intention. Wait. To sue for peace. This is recent. This is after we killed them. And for peace? Once negotiations are underway, you are to locate the acting viceroy. She lives? Uh, that is to say, I will, my lord. When you have found her, you will initiate a ritual to call forth an icon. I will instruct you in the necessary steps. Yotsuyu's faith is unreliable. But as a child raised to believe in the Kami, she will serve as a vessel for one of the Kojin's gods. She need only wish it to be so. The power will seem a gift, but the icon's essence will consume her. She will be no more than a husk, a slave to whim and desire. My lord, ever since the day you saw fit to save my miserable life, I have dreamed of repaying your benevolence. Upon my honor, I swear to devote myself wholly to your service. All that you command will be done, no matter the cost. But, but, I fear the subtleties of your plan yet elude me. From the reports I have heard, the champion who aids the Dolmen resistance would make short work of a single icon.
The icon is merely a message. The pacifist teachings of the popularis spread through this city like a plague. And I would remind the people of the threat we face. You will be my chosen agent. The hand which tolls the warning bell. The salvation of this world will not be won through the signing of treaties. Your chosen agent. <laughs> Jesus, dude. I will not fail you, my lord. My... My... Master... Lord... Xenos... He will come... For you... I'm probably the only one. Ha! <laughs> ah. You have prevailed, I see! We better stab him just to be safe, though. Sorry, Gosetsu. She is gone. Wherefore did the Kami spare us only to inflict this pain? <laughs> Death shall not want for company this day. You spared us a worse disaster. But I fear our fledgling peace with the Empire was beyond saving. Lord Hien! Maxima, is it not? I assumed you long fled. Although he didn't seem to be on the same page as... I entertain thoughts of escape even now. But our negotiations have yet to reach a satisfying conclusion. The Ambassador insisted that the summoning spelled an end to our mission here. But it seemed to me there was more to the tale. I have heard tell of this power you wield. And in your vision, you witnessed Lord Xenos giving these orders. How can that be? Xenos is dead. He took his own life after the battle in Alamigo. Yeah, I was there. I saw his body <laughs> with my own eyes. <laughs> Forgive me, but Lord Xenos is very much alive. He granted our party an audience prior to our departure. That he was gravely wounded is certain, but his recovery appeared to be proceeding apace. I'm afraid I share Lord Hien's confusion. The man's death was confirmed and his remains interred. These are matters of public record. Something fucky's afoot. Hmm. I have no doubt you believe what you say. But what then is the explanation? That an imposter has infiltrated the innermost circle of the Imperial Court? The idea is inconceivable, absurd. But worthy of investigation nonetheless. Our movement can ill afford to have a highly placed pretender undermining our efforts. Your efforts may yet bear fruit. Tell me, what is to become of our prisoner exchange? Though we have already taken custody of our conscripts, we have yet to release your Imperial comrades. Do you still intend to collect them? Ah, 
Uh, uh, yes. As the late ambassador's second in command, it falls to me to speak on the Empire's behalf. And I'm happy to confirm our intent to proceed according to the original agreement. So, unlike fucking crazy Asasahi, this then guy let is let us be about it. Serious. It would be a pity to abandon such a promising beginning. Indeed. You have my thanks, Lord Hien. As soon as our people are secure aboard our airship, we shall depart straightways for Garlemald. Tread lightly, Pylus. I sense treachery awaits you there. Might I accompany you to the capital? Alphano, have you gone mad? Imposter or no, if Xenos was instructing Asahi on the finer points of ritual summoning, then experience tells us there is an Asian waiting in the wings. Fucking Without Asians. our knowledge and expertise, our Always. new friends will be hard pressed to contend with a foe for whom death is but a minor inconvenience. They need our help. Were you indeed willing to share your knowledge of this enemy, we would not shun your counsel. You truly mean to do this? In full knowledge of the danger? I have seen the Warrior of Light risk her life on countless occasions. Next to her, I'm scarce more than a distraction <laughs> on the battlefield. <laughs> I'm glad you know your place, Alpha No. <laughs> But in the meeting room or the audience chamber, there I can make a difference. <laughs> I can strike bargains, forge ties, and change minds. And where better to do these things than in the home of our old enemy? I believe in you, dude. Tis not for me to stop you, but... I would have you consider an alternative arrangement. Rather than braving the Empire as a simple traveler, go forth as an emissary of Doma. Such a position should offer you some measure of protection. Go then. You've obviously made up your mind. <laughs> Just try not to do anything reckless, all right? I shall be on my best behavior. Farewell, my friends. Good luck, Alpha Mo. Major Bingus reporting for duty. We fucking did it. <laughs> oh, ah, oh, what a fucking day. We couldn't have given them non-imperial outfits. I, I guess they're they know them, so it's not as big a deal. But welcome home. How often have I imagined this moment? Thank you for helping it come to pass. I know, <laughs> but like, the Imperials didn't have to send them here in their Imperial uniforms. Like, I don't know. <laughs> You'd think they'd want to keep the uniforms. 
You don't get to keep your work shirt after you quit. <laughs> they are they are kind of dicks. You're right. Chicken outfits. <laughs> that would have been good. The roost has reached the nest. I repeat, the or wait, that doesn't make sense at all. Whatever, chicken joke. Setsu. Ah, there you are. <laughs> Whoa! Gosetsu, your hair. My friend. What have you done? Smooth Gosetsu. I guess he sells his beard and mustache. An old man who cannot raise his blade has no place in the service of a young lord. Thus did I decide to devote my remaining days to pilgrimage. I will walk this land. Offering prayers of repose for all the souls who left this life in suffering. All of them? <laughs> A fulsome farewell makes for an enjoyable journey. Scarcely have we said our goodbyes to Alphano and you leave us too. But, tis well that my companions find their own way forward. I must endeavor to do the same. I have faith that you will find the best path for Dorma without me, my lord. Pray forgive me this last act of selfishness, and grant me your blessing. You have earned it a thousand times over. We first Go in peace, my friend. Gosetsu. I shall make of Doma a land where children laugh, and none need live in fear. All the way back in a realm reborn. There is no better way to honor those who went before. And those who'll come after. Take care, Gosatsu. And with that, I take my leave. I don't care what they say, he's just a big human. Boatman! Oh, is your dad here? Oh, it did. It's here. I just did, Allison. Thank you.
Life is chaos. We are all doing what we can to stay afloat. <laughs> Poor Alice is <laughs> covering her face. How you two doing? It's been forever, it feels like. Yo, fat butt's still alive. <laughs> Living the high life. The high life with Xenos. He even had the bandages and he talked like you. Thal's Gilded Balls. Thancred! I haven't seen you in forever! We've seen him like once, all of Stormblood so far. When he was doing the stuff to find uh, Kryl. Old shaggy boy need a haircut. Xenos is unmarked slab. <laughs> Thank you. Why would they why would they not bury him in like an unmarked I don't know. I guess that's not very good guy ish. Oh dear. Uh -oh. We seem to be missing a corpse.
Well, it must be somewhere. I only hope it isn't walking around. <laughs> we turn around. Oh, there it is, just lying on the ground. Well, this isn't good. But, I mean, we already knew something wasn't good. <laughs> I know that smile! Asian could have possessed his body, even if there was a corpse. That's fucked up. Well, disconcerted. <gasps> Hori Boulder got some new armor looking good, my dude. <gasps> Stola? Yeah! <laughs> Smug fucker anywhere. Yeah, I wish we saw more cryo. We cannot suffer icons to exist. Uh-oh, Daddy doesn't like his plan. Wait, this was the guy who was watching us. He's the katana. Wait, I was wait. 
Two Xenos, I guess? He wants my nuggies. His hate crush is strong. 